In the meantime, Philip has found the station. He has taken the train to the city center. The city, die Stadt. The center, das Zentrum. The city center, das Stadtzentrum. Philip will share an apartment with three other students. He is just ringing the doorbell. Let's listen in. Hallo? Hallo, ich bin Philipp. Ah, hallo Philipp. Ich bin Lukas. Komm herein. Hallo means hello. Philipp introduces himself. He says, ich bin Philipp. I am Philipp. Put in your name and try it. Ich bin. Very good. Philip's new flatmate also introduces himself. He says, Hallo, ich bin Lukas. Then he says, Komm herein. This means, Come in. Komm herein. Philip is very happy to see the apartment, and soon he also meets the other flatmates. Listen to their first meeting. Philipp, das ist Thomas. Hi, Philipp. Hallo, und ich bin Tim. Hi, Tim. Trinken wir einen Kaffee? Ja, ja sehr, sehr gerne. gerne. Lukas introduces another flatmate. He says, das ist Thomas. This is Thomas. Repeat after me. Das ist Thomas. The third flatmate introduces himself. He says, Und ich bin Tim. And I'm Tim. Can you guess what Lucas suggested in the end? He said, Trinken wir einen Kaffee? Kaffee? Coffee. Trinken wir einen Kaffee? Shall we drink a cup of coffee? The others happily accept. Ja, sehr gerne. Yes, with pleasure. Ja, sehr gerne. Now, let's listen to the entire dialogue again. Philipp, das ist Thomas. Hi, Philipp. Hallo, und ich bin Tim. Hi, Tim. Trinken wir einen Kaffee? Ja, ja sehr, sehr gerne. gerne. In the afternoon, it is time for Philip to go to his German class. He's taking a course at the Deutsch Akademie. On his way to the Deutsch Akademie, he already catches a glimpse of the city center. Do you remember the word for city center? Right. Stadtzentrum. Very good. Now Philip is in class. Listen to his teacher welcoming the group. Guten Tag. Und herzlich willkommen bei der Deutschakademie. Ich bin Stefanie. Ich bin eure Lehrerin. She says, Guten Tag. This is slightly more formal than Hallo. And we only use it during the day, not at night. Say after me, Guten Tag. Guten Tag. The teacher continues, und herzlich willkommen bei der Deutsch Akademie. And welcome to the Deutsch Akademie. Then she introduces herself. She says, Ich bin Stefanie. Ich bin eure Lehrerin. I'm Stefanie. I'm your teacher. Lehrerin. Teacher. Lehrerin. Now the teacher wants to know the students' names. She asks Philip, Wie heißt du? Wie heißt du? Means, What's your name? Wie heißt du? Philip answers, Ich heiße Philip. This means, My name is Philip. Now the teacher wants to know where the students come from. She asks, Woher kommst du? Woher means where from. Du means you. 
Woher kommst du? Where do you come from? Philip replies, Ich komme aus Frankreich. This means, I come from France. Let's listen to the entire conversation again. Guten Tag und herzlich willkommen bei der Deutschakademie. Ich bin Stefanie. Ich bin eure Lehrerin. Wie heißt du? Ich heiße Philipp. Woher kommst du? Ich komme aus Frankreich. Now you can introduce yourself. Guten Tag. Ich heiße. Ich komme aus. You don't come from France? Well, here is a short list of countries. First, you'll hear the English word, then the German translation. After the German translation, you have a moment to repeat the German name of the country. Then you'll hear it once more. Italy Italian Italian Poland Polen Polen England 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 Spain Spanien Spanien Now let's take a first look at German grammar. But don't worry, we'll take it step by step. In this unit, we'll study the German sentence structure. Listen to these sentences. Der Bahnhof ist da hinten. The station is back there. Ich bin Philipp. I'm Philipp. These sentences are statements. In such sentences, we put the verb in second position, just as we do in English. Let's look at an example. Ich bin Philipp. Ich is in first position. It means I. Bin means am, a form of the verb to be. In the sentence, ich bin Philipp, bin is in second position after ich. The same is true for ist, is, in der Bahnhof ist da hinten. Here, ist follows der Bahnhof, the station. Now listen to this sentence. Trinken wir einen Kaffee? Shall we drink a cup of coffee? This is a question. The verb is trinken, to drink. It is put right in the beginning of the question. Trinken wir einen Kaffee? However, questions can also begin with a question word. Remember this question from Philip's German class? Woher Kommst du? Where do you come from? Woher is a question word. It means where from. In this question, woher is put in the beginning. It is followed by the verb, and the German word for you, du, comes at the end. Woher kommst du? Now, let's practice the German sentence structures with some easy statements and questions you can use when you meet someone for the first time or when you're asking for directions. Let's begin with statements. You will hear the sentence in English, translated into German. Don't forget, in statements, the verb is in second position. After a short pause, You'll hear the correct German sentence. I'm Paul. Ich bin Paul. I come from Spain. Ich komme aus Spanien. 
The Deutsche Akademie is back there. Die Deutsche Akademie ist da hinten. Very good. Now let's ask some questions. Like before, you will hear the question in English. After a short pause, you will hear the question in German. We will start with questions that don't have a question word. These questions begin with the verb, remember? Shall we drink a cup of coffee? Trinken wir einen Kaffee? Do you come from Italy? Kommst du aus Italien? Well done! Now we'll turn to questions that begin with a question word. This means the verb is in second position. Again, you'll hear the question in English and after a short pause in German. Where is the station? Wo ist der Bahnhof? What's your name? Wie heißt du? Where do you come from? Woher kommst du? Very good. After what has been a long day for Philip, I'm sure you too will enjoy a little rest. Maybe sit back, relax, and listen to the dialogues of this unit once more. When you feel ready for the next step, we'll meet Philip again as he makes plans for his first week in Berlin.